How you guys doing? This is Tyrell Ferguson from Tyrell Goes Live. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on a Superior Drummer. Um, basically, how to get your grooves into Superior Drummer. You know, how to save your own grooves. Because Superior Drummer has grooves for you, you know. Um, you guys have to excuse the audio. Um, I, I did a system upgrade and, you know, my screen capture no longer takes the internal audio so um, I'll just have to play this through the speakers and when the audio comes in um, it's the audio from the computer going back into the speakers instead of just the computer just recording the internal audio like like usual but um, you know Superior Drummer has grooves inside it I'm going to take the headphones out So, but as you can see in Superior Drum, it has this, my MIDI file, so I just figured out, you know, how to get your own MIDI files into here, so I'll show you guys. Alright, basically you want to make your own MIDI track, uh, which I did here, real quick. It's a, like a metal track, it includes, you know, 16th notes, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I took this down to 124th to get some of those ghost notes. And right here, so that's your 16th note triplet here and here, and yeah, the colors show the velocity. But I'm not gonna give you a, a logic tutorial. Um, most people already know how to make beats and, and logic and stuff like that. So. Alright, and at the end, I had this this paradiddle type feel. So I just want to get you guys uh, going and show you guys how to put this into uh, Superior Drummer. So I'm going to click on this region. I don't know if you can see the mouse. That's not working as well. Uh, since I did the system upgrade, like I can see the mouse, but it's not showing in my, my recording software. So uh, you right click on the region, the MIDI region, and it'll bring up this export as MIDI file. So pretty much simple as that and from there you save this um, to where you want to save it I save it under my documents uh, Tyrell's MIDI drums you can save it as your MIDI drums and I'm going to put uh, uh, metal 16th with and I'll save it to my documents folder now I have to go back here's my MIDI files folder so it's not in there yet and here's where I just saved it to so basically it's just a drag and drop job from here to here but I'll show you where to find this MIDI files folder um, this is where I save uh, my operating system. I have it on my hard drive. And from your hard drive, you go to library and then application support. And then your easy drummer, MIDI, and then my MIDI files will be there. So again, uh, your hard drive that you have your operating system on, your library, then application support, easy drummer, MIDI my files MIDI my files and just drag and drop that in there and I'll show you guys first that it's not already in there and then just go ahead drag and drop that into my right here metal 16 now when you go back to here it's not going to quite pop up so you just click off of it and then click back on it and here you go right here and the thing I love about Superior Drummer is that it separates each of your instruments so I can isolate the kick I can be both And 
that's all it is to it. So thanks for watching. Again, this is Tyrell Ferguson from Tyrell, Tyrell Goes Live. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you can make use of this. And if you have any more questions, just hit me up and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks. Bye.